guys and welcome back to the blog today's video i hope is what you guys would consider a fun video i think it's going to be fun because i promised you guys that i was going to do a sunglass video it is january <clears throat> excuse me but in atlanta right now with 60 plus degrees now it can be freezing tomorrow but right now it's 60 plus degrees and also let me give you a little insight about sunglasses. You guys, a lot of you probably do know this, and some people may not know this. My husband worked in law enforcement for a while, okay? And I used to ask him, why are you guys wearing those sunglasses? You know, why did you wear your sunglasses at night? He says, visibility. He said, when it's raining real hard, you can put on your sunglasses, and for some particular reason, you can see better. For me, I wear them in the morning because if the sun is coming up, and I'm already out there driving. That light is just blinding. And I can pull my visor down, but the light is still blinding, guys. So that's one reason I wear sunglasses. <clears throat> In the evening time, if I'm on the road and it starts to get dark and those headlights hit my eyes, hurt. It hurt. Now my real glasses, my eye seeing glasses, yes, they do have that in them. It's built in to where it's supposed to protect my eyes from, you know, sun rays and headlight protection. So my glasses, you see how they're turning dark? Yeah, because they have that built in. So they're nice, but sometimes I do want to wear my sunglasses. You know, I'm already out. I've already put them on and I may run into darkness. So if I run into darkness with some sunglasses on, guess what? It's just going to help protect my eyes from the glare from the headlights of the car in front of me. All right? And not only that, they're aesthetically pretty. Everybody likes a nice pair of sunglasses. Everybody wants to step out, put them on, and go on. You know, sometimes, guys, you know how you have those mornings you just need to run to the store. All you did was got up and took a shower wash your face and brush your teeth but you ain't did nothing to this right here no makeup no eyeliner no nothing but you just need to run to the store you slap them sunglasses on and guess what you can run to that store nobody can see this you know you go in there you might put on a little lip gloss or some something on your list run to that store get what you need and come back out and ride on back home and nobody knows that your face is all jacked up in here sometimes <laughs> You know, because I pencil, I have to pencil, I pencil here and I pencil under my eyes, you know, just to make me look a little bit refreshed and make me feel a little bit better, you know, but there's those days I don't want to do that. Just like today, when we went to the track, well, we, I'm sorry, we went to the walking trail at the park and I put my sunglasses on because I'm walking past people, I'm already sweating, I'm getting hot because I told you guys I'm losing a few pounds this year. So I'm walking, I'm sweating, I'm hot. Well, I put them sunglasses on. They don't see how miserable I look in my eyes. <laughs> I be looking so miserable sometimes because I be done got hot or tired or something, you know. But I continue to walk because I want to do this. This is something I want to do. And yesterday, um, Saturday, yesterday was Saturday, we woke up with the mind frame of going to my mom's house. My mom has a huge oak tree in her front yard. So it's over 100 years old. So you know it produced a lot of leaves, right? Well, my mom kept saying, oh, these leaves, these leaves. And, you know, I don't want to go out here and slip and fall on these leaves. I'm trying to get to my mailbox. And, you know, she just kept complaining about the leaves. And she called her guy. She has a little landscaper. He's so kind. His name is Juan. Um... One is sick. He has the flu. So he told my mom, he said, I'm so sorry. He said, I'm just so sick. I can't get up. I can't do it. So my mom was like, oh, well, they'll just have to stay out there until I can get somebody to get them up or until one feel better. Yesterday, me and my husband woke up. We looked at each other. We're like, let's go. We got out of this bed. The bed, we got in those cars. We put the rakes, the blower trimmers clippers we went by home depot and got her some of those big huge like paper bags that they have to use you know on her side of town because they don't like the plastic you know so we did that and we went to her house five hours and 61 bags later we was finished with my mom's yard now those bags are tall guys five hours and 61 bags later we were finished so today i'm a little sore 
boy, I was raking and raking and my husband was blowing and I'm raking and I'm pulling and raking, you know, trying to get that stuff up because I know how my mom is. My mom is like me. She want her yard clean. She like her house clean. She just like things clean. And when things are not that way, she feel like they're out of order. And I have that same addiction. I like things clean. I like things in order. When things are not, I feel upset. I can't get myself together. I just be a miserable mess, guys. And that is a truth. <laughs> and I don't want to change because I like things clean. I don't like, you know, things that are not conducive to how I like to live. I like to live in a clean environment. You know, real simple. So, guys, you know, I'm always having a story for you guys before we get started on our blog. But are you guys ready to check out my sunglass collection? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I am so ready to introduce you to these pair. Now, this is one, two, three, four, maybe about eight or nine pair. So, I'm going to have to do two videos because I don't want you to get bored with my videos. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to break this up. Instead of doing about 20 pair, I'll probably do nine or 10 pair. And then, I'll come back and do another, the number two on the rest of my um, sunglass collection. All right? So, let's get started. I guess I can sit down, but you guys know I'll jump up in a minute and show you and describe to you what's going on, right? Can you see me? Yeah, I think you probably can see me. I'll move over a little bit. All right, guys. The first pair is Tory Burch. Tory Burch. This pair is called the Panama Black and Cream Sunglass by Tory Burch. It's not a pretty case. I fell in love with the case. But I really like these glasses. Wait till I show you guys these sunglasses. You ready? Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to put them on first, and then I'm going to take them off and show them to you. This is my Tory Burch pair. It's got a little fingerprint on it. But you know what? I came prepared for you guys today. I did because I've been opening the cases and trying to see which ones I want to show you guys first. So... The Tory Burch Panama Black and Cream Pair. Look at this. See, it's black here, then it's cream here. Isn't that pretty? That is a pretty pair of sunglasses, guys. And they are they're dark on the outside, but they're not that dark on the inside. I can see extremely good with these glasses. Look at them. I'm going to show them to you guys. Look at that. The top is black. The bottom is cream. Look at right here. Look on the lenses. The, I mean the sides. The arms. You see that cream and that black. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? And this is Tory Burch. It's almost kind of cat eye right here, you know? But it, they didn't name it the cat eye. They named it Tory Burch Black and Cream. The Panama Sunglass. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. And you see her little logo right there? Isn't that pretty, guys? And it wears so pretty. I like these glasses. I like them. I do. Now, I'll snatch them. Oh, you guys remember my handbag? My Tory Burch handbag? Check it out. Same color. Yeah, remember the handbag video. I, the one I just did, the previous one. Yeah, it shows a Tory Burch bag. Well, these sunglasses go perfectly, perfectly with that bag. All right? <laughs> this is so much fun, guys. This is fun. The second pair I'm going to show you is my Jimmy Choo. They call the Ricca 55 millimeters cat eye frame. The Ricca. It's so Jimmy Choo. Jimmy, 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 Choo. Jimmy, 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 Choo. Here we go, guy with the Jimmy Choo's. Boom. Why are, is every pair I put on my eyes got some fingerprints on them? You know why, guys? Because I have a bad habit of sticking them up in my hair and then going on and then I take them out and I'm touching the lenses. So, huh. but this is the Jimmy Choo, guys. What do you think? What do you think about the Jimmy Choo's? It's called the Rekka. 55 millimeter. It's cat eye. It's the frame. Let's take a closer look. Okay. I'm gonna, well, no, I'm not going to fold them down. I'm going to bring them this way. 
this is almost like a berry or a blush, right? You see right there, it says chew. And it's on both sides. Chew. And then here's the inside of the glasses. There. And that's the Jimmy Choo. All right, one more time on. <clears throat> what do you guys think? You like the Jimmy Choo's? I like them. I like the Jimmy Choo's. Oh, these are nice and kind of sporty, you know? And then the case is so pretty, guys. Let me show you the Jimmy Choo case. This is the case. This is the Jimmy Choo case, guys, here. Isn't that pretty? Jimmy Choo. All right. Second pair. Hey, guys, I'm getting better and better. I'm running through these videos a little faster. All right. The next pair. Ah, you already seen this pair, but I'm still going to show you my glasses for those that did not watch my Christmas video. This is the Coach 56 milliliter square frame um, in blush. So this is the ones I had got for Christmas, guys. Right. Those that watched that video saw these here. Because remember, guys, <laughs> when I was talking to you guys, I didn't know that the light was kind of beaming through the um, lenses. So I could see all those lenses up through these glasses. So I'm gonna try to prevent that. What do you think? <clears throat> what do you think about this blush pair of Coach glasses? You guys like them? This is the blush pair, guys. And this is the pair that I got for Christmas. And remember I showed you guys the CC in pink? You see the C? It's in pink, it says Coach. And it's on the other side as well. It says coach. And then this is the front. And this is the other side here, guys. Aren't these pretty? This is a pretty coach glass. They had it in this blush and they had it in like a mint green. I'm going to go back and check and see if they have, still have the mint green. And if they do, I'll get the mint green also. Because that's going to be a real pretty color for the summer. Does anybody know what the summer colors are? Because every year they have a summer color. That's the case. Coach case or standard. I do have a white coach case for another pair. But this is the coach case. Yeah, and this is the new pair of glasses that I got for Christmas this year, guys. All right? All right, the next pair that I want to show you guys, oh, are my old Chanel glasses. Here you go, guys, this old Chanel case. You see my case, right? Old Chanel case, and it has the CCs right there. You see it? Let's take a look at these little glasses. All right, do I need to wipe them off? They don't look like they need to be wiped off. <laughs> but these are my Chanel's. And they're small. Guys, I have a small face, so these probably fit really, really well. But these are my Chanel sunglasses right here, guys. And they were a little foggy. <laughs> Let me get my little piece of tissue before I hold them up to you guys. They look a little foggy. But here are the glasses. And there's the... You see the pattern? I love that pattern. That is a beautiful pattern. There's the CCs, and I turn them, turn them. There's the other CC, and here's the inside of the glasses. And these are my Chanel glasses. Now, a lot of these glasses, they have numbers, like this pair have a bunch of numbers, and I don't want to be sitting on camera just reading a whole bunch of numbers to you guys, so I'm just going to um, give you the name of the glasses. So, this is the Chanel right here. And what I will do, if there's anything that you like, you know, you guys know that I am always putting the information in the description box for you. That way, you can find them for yourself and see if you're interested. So, there's the case for the Chanel's. 
one more time before we toss them over to the couch like we do the rest of them. <laughs> All right, guys, so what's next? Oh, okay, this case is worn out, guys. I've had this pair of glasses for a real long time when I first started buying Coach. And I'm gonna see if anybody can identify anything. I'm not gonna see anything. But, and I'll tell you at the end, this is my old pair. This These Coach glasses have been so reliable, guys. This Coach pair has a bunch of numbers in it that I don't want to read. If somebody is really interested, I will put the information in the description box for you. But I don't like reading all those numbers. FPC 153. Mm -mm, mm -mm. People don't want to hear that. They just want to see what you got. All right, so this is my other pair. <sighs> Of coach glasses guys this is the pair i wear in the summertime a lot too yeah because they're snug they're they sit on your face really really nice guys but yeah this is a pair of coach glasses here yes and i like this pair let me show you something i thought was so cute i had a pair that i gave to my baby sister probably about oh we it may have been about 12 years ago, and I gave her the real cute pair. But she's my sister, my baby sister, the one I call Bubber Gum. I gave her some coach glasses. Yeah, see that? I don't, I like that. And then it, the word coach is spelled around that. So it's almost like a little piece of jewel or something in there. You see, you guys, isn't that pretty? And it kind of has like a tortoise shell look. You see the different coloring in there? And then they're dark here, but look, they're light in here. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, they're dark on the outside and light on the inside, guys. So this is another pair of my coach glasses that fits like a charm. And I would show you guys how this case is so old, but I'm too embarrassed. You want to take a little peek? Beep! You know, and opening this case in and out so much, you know. And I could easily, I'm sure, probably buy another case. But why when I still have this case? It's the original case, guys. And it's not ugly on the outside. It's just a little rough on the inside. See, the outside still looks good. So once I take my glasses out and toss that case, nobody know I got a jacked up case on the inside. funny but it's true <laughs> okay guys let me let me quit tripping the next one is my burberries here's your burberry glasses Ooh, hoo, hoo. burberry glasses these are my burberry babies burberry babies that's cute huh burberry babies yeah this case a little rough too. I done roughed that case up a little bit. It's not me. It's just opening and closing the cases so much, you know? Cause you do I like to do a switch. Like today I wear these, tomorrow I wear these, the next day I wear those. I'm gonna wear my stuff. I'm gonna get my wear in before I get too old, 90 years old, and my grandkids have my glasses and gone, and my daughter is daughters and daughter-in-laws have my glasses and gone. And a couple of my friends have my glasses and gone. Uh-uh. No, I'm going to wear my stuff. So if it ever gets to that point, I've enjoyed them, you know? I'm <laughs> silly, guys. All right, here's the Burberry, guys. And the Burberry, let me see. Let's see. Oh, goodness, a bunch of numbers, so I can't do it. But these are the Burberries. But you know, these are your standard Burberries. You guys know that. And you know, they have the plaid um, on the um, arms. But these are your Burberries, guys. What you think about the Burberries? You like the Burberries? You like them? Okay, so let me show you. That's Burberry signature right there. You see it? That is their signature right there. Yes, and the other side has a signature as well. And the inside is just, I don't know, they like that tan, don't they? Because, can let me move my fingers. Can you see it? You see? Okay, there you go. See, it's tan on the inside, and then it's black. It's tan on this side, then it's black. They like that tan on these glasses. But yeah, guys, these are just your standard Burberry. 
sunglasses. Mic truck. All right. And I can tell you guys something real quick. These came from Overstock.com. Yes, Overstock.com sells sunglasses, high-end sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And let me see, is it Shop HQ? Guys, Shop HQ sell, sell designer sunglasses. Some of them came like uh, some of them came from Shop HQ. Some of them come from Overstock. Some of them we go to the mall. Some of them go come out of Macy's. They just come from different places. But yeah, this Burberry pair came from um, Overstock, and I think it was roughly like two seventy nine for this pair. Yeah, boom. That's your Burberry, guys. You like it? I hope you guys like it. And one more thing, guys. This case is it done had its seen its better days too, guys. Look, it's folding up and everything. <laughs> but I'm gonna continue to stick them glasses in there and shut that case. Long as it doesn't scratch up my glasses, I don't worry about replacing it. Because I do take care of them, guys. I really do. But things get old. You know, and then like me, I always keep sunglasses in my car. So when you keep sunglasses in your car, that heat, you know, the, the inside lining is basically just glued in. You know what I mean? Kind of like glued in. So that heat will break that down as well. So I'm going to try to stop keeping them in my car so much. You know, I will put them like in my dash or I have this little divider here. I'll put them in that little divider, you know, things like that. So I'm going to try to make sure I always put them back in my purse when I'm getting out of my car, you know, or for getting out of my car for the day. Yep. All right. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's about six pair. I think we'll do two or three more pair, guys, and we'll be done. All right, guys. You guys might like this pair. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you a case. You guys are going to like this pair. Isn't that case pretty? That is so pretty. Now, you know those um, coach glasses or blush? Well, check out this Gucci pair. The Gucci's are called the Gucci Oversized Acetate Butterfly Sunglasses. They label this cream. I thought it was blush, but it says cream. Here you go, guys. Here's your Gucci. Boom. How you like the Gucci? Y'all like these? Are they okay? It says oversized. So they're supposed to be a little big on your face. I think that's the latest thing kind of going now. I don't know. But yeah, these are my Gucci. That's the Gucci, guys. So let's back up a little bit. And I'm going to bring them towards you. These are the Gucci. They say this is cream. It doesn't really look cream to me. But that's how it's identified. It has the double G's. You see the double G's here? Little like ridges in there. Almost like the little quilt pattern. There's a G there. And then the inside looks like this guy. Aren't they pretty? They are pretty though. I should have a ball this summer wearing my sunglasses. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something that you guys don't know. It's crazy, isn't it? I have allergies, I have hay fever, I have asthma, now I have car sickness. I am taking those little pills called Dremeline. My doctor gave me some mezzaline or something like that. But those things knock me out. They're a little bit too strong for me. So, you know, I be riding in the car and I'm thinking I'm all cool, putting on my little sunglasses like this. Next thing you know, my head doing this. Because my husband may take a curve a little bit. You know, being ex-law enforcement, they drive fast, guys. So he'll take that curve. I'm like, woo. Then my head spinning, guys. Next thing you know, car sick. <laughs> the glasses don't matter. Nothing, man. I just be wanting to like, get out that car, guys. So, yeah, if I ever ride with somebody, if I ride with one of you guys, if I know you and I ride with you, please don't be driving fast. And please don't take them curves and, and driving all like this. Just drive like an old person like this so I can stay in the car with you because you'll be taking me back home. But yeah, I just have to make you guys laugh. But that is a true story. I am dealing with motion sickness. But yeah, guys, these are the Gucci's. These are the Gucci's. All right. Hope you like them, guys. This case is not beat up. <laughs> this case is not beat up. 
It's just the old, old, old coach and the old, old, old Burberry coaches that's a little, the um, case is a little rough, but it's all right, right, guys? Right. All right, what's the next pair I wanted to show you guys? I wanted to show you guys these uh, Fenty. They're vintage with the vintage frame with the FF logo on the side. That's how it's written. And it's got a bunch of numbers. You know, I have all these glasses, but sometimes I forget information. So I will try to go and do the research so I can sound like I know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, but it's not just, you know, <laughs> I just don't know it like that. Have the glasses, but don't have the knowledge sometimes. It's crazy. These are your Fendi's. These are the FF um, logo um, Fendi's. Bunch of numbers on these two guys, but like I said, we're not reading all those numbers. I don't even think I'm going to put all them numbers in the description box. That's just too much, guys. But these are the Fendi's, the FF Fendi's. And here we go. I like that. You guys like that? Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. That is pretty. That is pretty. These are Fendi's. And we're going to turn them. Oh, these are so pretty. Isn't they pretty? Those are some pretty Fendi glasses. I have about three pair of Fendi's, guys. I don't know. I might put a pair on parchment for about 25 bucks because it doesn't make any sense to have the same stuff over and over. If I decide to put them on there for 25 bucks, I'll let you guys know. It's just because I got so many of them, I can afford to um, not try to charge no freaking arm and a leg because everybody's out here doing that now. Everybody want high prices for everything, you know. That's not going to be me, and that's not me. All right, guys, so there are your Fendi's. There are your Fendi glasses. All right, guys. And the Fendi case is in good condition, too, guys. Let me show you this one. You see it? No breaks, no damages. Like I said, it's just the old two pair that I own. See, the case is in good condition. Yeah, and that's the outside of that. All right, all right. All right, I think I'm gonna show maybe one more pair today so that I can do a, an additional video with about 10 more pair because I got other Fendi's. I got Gucci, I got Versace. I have them all on here, guys. I mean, the glasses are not an issue. Like, here's an, I'm not, I'm not so showing you. It's gonna be the next one, but here's another pair of Fendi. And I have a third pair that's just like the um, tortoise brown pair, but they're in black, so yeah. Okay, guys, last pair for today on the sunglasses and these are my babies this is a cat eye frame and it is a christian dior it's oversized guys these are the christian dior you ready here we go get off my braid ouch get off my braid you hear me saying ouch guys it's pulling my braid <laughs> it's pulling my braid and that's your dior pair Y'all like that pair, the Dior. All right. Isn't that a cute pair? That's a cute pair. Let's examine it, guys. Look, there's your CD. There's your CD for your Christian Dior. And it's on the other side as well. Look at the pattern in the, in that, in the frame, guys. You see right there? The arms, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's a pretty pattern. Here's the front. Once again, I see a little spot on them. Sorry about that. Don't like to show glasses with spot. But as comes from always in my head and in my hair. And there's the inside, guys. And you know what I'm saying? Let me show you. Like, okay. Does this pair have all those numbers? Well, this pair doesn't. It just says, can you see it? It says Christian Dior in there. Okay. And then on this side, it says Dior. But a lot of them have a whole bunch of numbers. And I guess that's to specify the type of frame. Yeah, so this is the last pair I'm going to show you guys on our sunglass video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that we did a great job. 
I hope that we had so much fun doing this. I hope that darn light is not making that ring inside of my glasses because it does. It was so funny when I looked at that video, um, what I got for Christmas. And when I showed the um, blush coach glass, the rings were in there. Nobody complained, so I was thankful about that. But it's just because I have to use this ring light, guys. But that's the last pair for today in this video, guys. And I hope you enjoy all of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunglasses. Let me show you the case. Okay, it has it in there. Can you see it? You can't see it, can you? But look how this case is nice. Isn't that nice? And it just sits in there and it flops. So we heard the snap and it snaps. So this is the case and it says Dior on the front right there yeah so i think we probably have examined nine pair of sunglasses a day and I'll, like i said i'm gonna do a second video we'll probably do about 10 more pair and then we're gonna get into something else i want to do a tiffany video for you guys i want to do gg world of pearls video for you guys i just got a lot of videos i want to show you guys you know i want to do a coach video showing you my shoes i've got tons of coach shoes that i would like to show you guys and you know because it's getting to be warm you're getting to start really doing some walking so i got the loafers and the sneakers and i got the vintage sneakers guys a lot of people like them vintage sneakers and so do i so that's kind of the end of this video, but I want to show you something. Since I was um, doing a sunglass video, I wanted to show you my little coach jewelry. This piece here um, is a cute little heart-shaped coach necklace, and it's on this, I love this um, chain that it's on. It's a big loop chain. Yeah, but this is the little coach necklace here. I am wearing the coach earrings today. They're hoops. I'm wearing a coach hoop earrings today guys you see the hoops yep i'm wearing the coach watch for you too today guys there's your watch remember this one guys it had i, I made a joke about it. i said oh my gosh this had the entire stage coach on the inside yeah and then i found something so old and i cleaned it because it was just laying back there looking a little beat up and rough but a coach ring you see that i mean okay let's take the other one off I, I, well i'm gonna have to leave it on because it doesn't want to come off but this is the little a little coach ring guys it's an old little piece and i really want to say something is missing on it <laughs> i thought it had a little charm like on it but it's still cute it's full of cc's guys and this is an old coach ring that I probably got in 1989, something like that. Yeah, it's still hanging on. It's not as bright as it was. Maybe if I take it to get it clean, it may brighten up a little bit more. I don't know. But I said, you know what? I'm going to, when I do these videos, I'm going to put on some jewelry and I'm going to tell them where it's from. And if they like it, they may want to get it. But I love the coach necklace. That heart is so pretty. And it says coach. And then it has a little tag. Um, right? There's a tag. Little tag somewhere over here that says coach as well. But I love this necklace. It is so, so cute. And like I said, the watch is cute too, guys. So that's the end of our video, guys. Welcome to 2023. Yeah. 2023. Yeah. And the Falcons are playing today. And the Georgia Bulldogs are gone out of town to do their thing. I think they went to California. So you guys know you're going to end up seeing me with my new Bulldog shirt on. Or I'm going to borrow my husband's. <laughs> it's probably cheaper for me to borrow his instead of trying to go out and buy me one, right? Absolutely. My baby sister is a graduate of the, she got her PhD from the University of Georgia. So she's a bulldog. Hey, Bubblegum. I love you, sis. Your team is doing their thing. They're kicking butt. Yay, bulldogs. <laughs> All right, guys, do me a favor, please. Um, like the video. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs me up. Leave me a nice comment. Hit that notification button so we can do this all over again. But yeah, I, like I said, I want, us, on a serious note, to the person that did ask me about the opera gloves, I am trying to find the rest of them. I have a habit of like, when I put the ball gown back in the bag, I usually drop those particular gloves down in the bag with that ball gown. And I usually put it inside like some type of a, um, 
like a um, Ziploc bag or something so the gloves won't get damaged because some of the ball gowns are, have the glitter and the sequins and I don't want to ruin the gloves. So I did find, I think, either four, four, maybe five pair, but I want to find all seven. And I don't know how the fans are going to take it, but we're going to do a opera glove video for this particular person that asked me about that. And I did have a request for um, the Tiffany jewelry, so I will do the Tiffany. The thing is, guys, they're sending it to my email. Go ahead and put it in the comment section. It's okay. Nobody's going to say anything to you because I'm ready for them. All right, guys, I love you so much, and may God bless you, and may he continue to keep you until I see you again, which will be very, very soon, because like I said, I'm going to give it to do a Tiffany video, show all my Tiffany pieces. May God bless you. May he keep you. We love you over here, and keep shining. See you soon. Bye, guys.